Today I'm recording this video is on the 15th of August 2023. Now group stage for VZT Champions has just ended and Deadlock has not been played. Now I know Champs isn't over yet and there's still a world of possibilities that could happen with team comms and agent selects. But the reason why I'm recording this video 10 days in advance ahead of the grand finals and the end of the tournament is because I am so damn sure that Deadlock, the worst agent to ever be released to the public, will not be picked throughout Los Angeles Champions 2023. And before any of you guys run down to the comments yelling at me about how she's not being picked because she's new, that's not true. Gecko was released on the March 7th, 2023, and around two months later, he was actively being played in professional Tier 1 Valorant as the top frag. Whereas Deadlock's been out for around two months as well, and isn't coming anywhere close to touching a team comp today. So in this video, I'm going to tell you every single factor that goes into why nobody in pro play wants to touch this agent. Valorant defines a sentinel as defensive experts who can lock down areas and watch flanks both on attacker and defender rounds. Deadlock does like none of that. <laughs> Let's get into the most important part, her attack. Jesus Christ, there is no attack with this agent, alright? I watched a good 3 episodes from Royal G on his Deadlock the Radiant series, and the amount of times I watched him run into sight as an attacking Deadlock, with every single utility untouched, tells you more than you need to know. This agent is completely worthless on attack. As a sentinel, your main responsibility isn't to entry, it isn't to get info, it isn't to flash, it's to hold the flank, and her flank holding ability does not do that. For those who don't know, her flank holding ability is the sonic sensor, right? You get two sonic sensors that detect when an enemy is near it when the enemy makes a sound. The only problem is, this can be easily countered by pressing shift. Alright, your enemy is already going to be shift walking through their flank. Adding a sensor at that point is purely decorative because all they need to do is tiptoe past your 200 credit flank watch and pop in for a free 3 kills. This means that you need to be constantly checking your back or assign someone to watch the flank at all times, which defeats the purpose of a sentinel on your team entirely. Apart from a flank watch that is somehow worse than Sage's wall, her other two abilities also don't do anything until post-plant. I mean, her wall is cool for sectioning parts off, but you also need a smoke on top of the wall in order to not get shot through it, which makes your wall almost redundant at that point because a smoke is already going to block off most choke points. And her nade is completely situational because you can't use it in the middle of a gunfight, which is when it will be most effective, and you can't use it on the fly because it could bounce off and affect your teammates as well. So with all that being said, Deadlock's util ultimately produces nothing on executes, resulting in a lot of rounds being essentially 4.5 V5s. That's not a great direction for a pro team to plan for. The main question is, why pick Deadlock? As a pro team, you are most likely going to be playing a defensive sentinel that can defend against an execute by stalling for time until the rest of the team can rotate and get into a good team fight. so you pick sentinels that are best adapted to using their util to either kill the enemies rushing in or slowing them down and deadlock is never best adapted. Her sonic sensors are lethal on defense, they'll stun a whole bunch of people and gives anyone who swings off the stun a free kill. But other sentinels also have lethal defensive util that kill just as easily and they don't get cleared by dogs or drones. Her nade will slow a whole push from coming down slowing down a large chunk of enemies and stalling for time, but Sage has pretty much two of the same things. And better, Deadlock's wall is definitely an inconvenience when pushing, but again, Sage's wall does the same thing and is more versatile with her being able to jump on it, one way, block shots, etc. And also, walls get instantly evaporated against a coordinated pro team, so her wall will not be able to block off a lot of choke points against an execute. Professional teams want the most value out of every agent on the team, and when you have a sentinel that produces pretty much the same, if not worse, than their counterparts on defense, and jack shit on offense, 
there is zero reason to pick them. You want the optimal showing out of your anchor. And choosing agents like Killjoy, Cypher, or even Chamber gives you the liberty of locking down a site just as well as deadlock, yet also contributing somewhat on the offense. This isn't ranked, where you pick deadlock once in a while because you're bored of playing your usual Killjoy setup on a set. Teams take time to plan their comps for weeks on end, and after heavy consideration, most teams will have realized that there is zero reason to take deadlock over the rest of the Sentinel crew. But I haven't fully answered the question yet. You see, sometimes you don't need the optimal production from your team comp. Agents like Neon, Yoru, Reyna, these guys may not be the best option for taking space on site, entering as a duelist, when you compare them to guys like Raze and Jet. Yet, they're still used in VCT and the reason for this is the power of the niche pick. You see, a niche pick is like a wildcard, a joker. You integrate these picks once in a while to throw your opponent's planning off and completely flip them on their heads and sometimes it really works out. But there's one requirement for the niche pick. They need a unique feature, right? Yoru has his crazy flash TPs. Neon has the ability to push the tempo for the team to the max. And Phoenix can out every two rounds if your team sets him up for it. But not Deadlock. Deadlock is the opposite of unique. Every single ability of hers can be found somewhere else in the agent select. And they're essentially watered down versions to some extent. Her nades are a worse version of fades, her walls a less versatile version of stage, and her sensors are a worse version of everything. Her only unique ability is her out, and you can't game plan around something that gets one kill every five rounds. She doesn't even qualify for the niche pick, which is normally the only thing that gets agents like her a playing opportunity in these types of tournaments. Alright, so I hope you liked the video. Um, I am really hoping she doesn't get played in the tournament so I don't need to like scrap the whole video and throw away hours of editing. But in the end, I'll probably still stand by my words. I still hate Deadlock and I am glad that she is not being played in VZT. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a huge pivot from the videos I normally do. But if you liked it, let me know and I will see you again next time.